Talkers, did you know that it's nearly Easter? I wonder what you think about when you hear the word Easter. Maybe you think about eggs, or chocolate, or bunny rabbits, or Jesus. Well, this week and next week, we're going to be learning about what Easter is really about. And it's all about Jesus, who we've been learning about from the Bible over the last few weeks. I hope you're excited to learn more about Jesus and the real meaning of Easter. We've been learning all sorts of things about Jesus, what he can do and how he's friends with us from this special book. It's called the Bible. I wonder what we're going to learn about Jesus today. I wonder, can you take your hands and wave them? We know that Jesus did amazing things with his hands. Can you say amazing things with his hands? Jesus with his hands touched people and he made them better. How cool is that? Well, on this day, in our story, it's called Good Friday. Except it didn't seem like a good day. Do you remember Jesus had done really good things with his hands? He'd healed people. He'd made people better. Jesus has never, ever, ever, ever done anything wrong. But on this day on Good Friday, the people in the crowd wanted Jesus gone. They didn't like Jesus. They were really angry. Can you do an angry face? They were really angry. And they had Jesus put on a cross where he would die. That's really sad, isn't it? It doesn't sound like a good day. It sounds like a really bad day. Hmm. But do you remember how Jesus used his voice? Can you go, ah? Well, Jesus used his voice. Do you remember when the wind was blowing and the waves were going and the disciples were really scared in the boat and Jesus went with his voice, stop. And the wave stopped. Well, today, in our story, Jesus uses his voice to say to his daddy or his father, Father, daddy, forgive the wicked people. Forgive the mean people. Forgive the people who are angry. Forgive the people who want me to die. Isn't that amazing? Jesus was going to die on the cross so that we could be forgiven. We could be friends with God. Now, it's sad, isn't it, that Jesus died, but it's also good because we can be friends with God. And we should be really, really happy about that. I'm going to pray and say thank you to God for that. So why don't you put your hands together and close your eyes so you can concentrate. And I will say thank you to God. Thank you, God, that you love us. Thank you that you sent Jesus to die so we could be friends with you. Amen. Hi guys, it's time now for our craft and we are going to make a crown today because Jesus is a king and kings wear crowns, don't they? We saw in the story that Jesus died on a cross, didn't he? And maybe he didn't look like a king then, but Jesus died for you and he died for me. What a loving king to look after his people like that. So we're going to make a crown to remember that Jesus is a king. Now I'm going to start out with a bit of card and I'm going to cut off a strip so maybe you need an adult to help you uh, with the scissors bit uh, maybe not maybe you guys are really good at cutting I am not okay so I've cut off a strip so it's a bit more of a, a reasonable size for the crown and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut because crowns have jagged edges don't they we're going to cut little triangles into our paper. 
Um, they can be as wide or narrow as you want. Again, you might need an adult for this bit. But there we go, we've got a triangle and it's left us with a bit. And then we're gonna cut another triangle next to our other one. So now we've got a crown here. And what we're gonna do in a moment is we're gonna fold it around and we're gonna stick the edges together so that we have a crown. So I've just used an A4 piece of paper here. As you can see, my crown is a little bit small, um, but that's okay. Maybe you could use a longer piece of paper and you could have a slightly bigger crown. And now that we've got our crown and before we stick it, we're gonna decorate our crown so we can put some exciting jewels on. So I'm just going to use a pen here and I'm going to make a nice purple jewel on my crown. Ooh. Lovely, a lovely shiny purple jewel on my crown. Now I'm going to put a green one on. Could be maybe an emerald if it's green, that's a nice shiny stone, an emerald. I don't know any purple shiny stones though, I wonder if you do. How's your geology? Lovely, okay, so now I've got a nice emerald green shiny jewel on my crown as well. Uh, I've got some stickers with me here. Um, but you don't need stickers at all. You could just do the whole thing with pens. So you can decorate your crown however you want. I'm sure you have some beautiful crowns, much better than mine. But there we go, I've decorated my crown. I've got some jewels and some stars on there. So now I'm gonna fold it and we're gonna, you could glue it or you could staple it or you could sellotape it. I'm gonna try some glue. Although there we go, and we've got ourselves a crown. And ooh, that's quite hard to get the angle there. There we go, a nice little crown to put on our heads to remind us that Jesus is a king. Well, I hope you have lots of fun making and decorating a crown. Bye. In our story today, we learnt about how Jesus died on a cross. And did you know that just before Jesus died, he cried out, It is finished. That might seem like a weird thing to say, but it's because Jesus' death means that we can be friends with him. That's why it's finished. So what we're going to do for our activity today is we're going to do a puzzle, maybe a jigsaw or a word search or something else that you've got a ho at home. And once you've finished your puzzle, I want you to shout out, it is finished. And when you do that, you can remember about Jesus' death. I've got a puzzle here. It's a word search all about Easter. finished. I hope you enjoyed doing your puzzle just as much as I did. Hey, today we've been learning, haven't we, about Good Friday, which didn't seem very good, but it's a good day because it's when we become friends with God because Jesus dies for us. Now, if you can remember, put your thinking caps on, and remember, when we first went into lockdown and having to meet on the telly instead of down at the preschool hub, we learned some songs about all that Jesus did with his hands and what he did for us. And we're going to sing one of those sing songs. It was called, He Made the Stars to Shine. Can you get your twinkling stars ready? Are you ready to do it? He made the stars to shine. He made the rolling sea. He made the mountains high. And he made me bumbity 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 bump. But this is why I love him. 
For me he bled and died, the Lord of all creation became the crucified. Do you remember that song? Shall we do it one more time? Get those twinkling stars ready. He made the stars to shine, he made the rolling sea, he made the mountains high, and he made me bumbity 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 bump. But this is why I love him, for me he bled and died, the Lord of all creation became the crucified. Hey, good singing. Do you remember the other one we learnt, which was wide, wide as the ocean, and talks about how big and wide is God's love. Are you ready? So you might have to stand up for this. I can't because you won't see me on the camera. Are you ready? Wide, wide as the ocean, high as the heavens above, and deep, deep as the deepest sea is my Saviour's love. I, though so unworthy, still am a child of his care. For his word teaches me that his love reaches me everywhere. Hmm, some of those words are a bit complicated, aren't they? But it's telling us that God's love is big and wide. Oh, and he loves us wherever we go. And that's great news, isn't it? That's good news for Good Friday. Now, we are going to sing one more song. And we're going to sing, Our oh, God is a great big God. Good actions, are you ready? Roll your shoulders, get ready. Our oh, God is a great big God. Our oh, God is a great big God. Our oh, God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our oh, God is a great big God. Our oh, God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. He's ready to shout. And he holds us in his hands. Hey, great singing. Come back next week because the story gets even better. See you next week. Bye.